Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today's class 27 of our 30 day hero journey through yoga. Today's class is a continuation from celebration and today is ecstasy. We're going to explore the ecstatic principle in life and there is many ways to look at the ecstatic principle. One of them is to observe or to study the Sufis and the Sufis they found basically it's one way to experience the divine or God is through the ecstatic principle in life and oftentimes it's in our nature actually to search the ecstatic they drank wine they were spinning it's just exploring the ecstatic principle in life which is really the divine and sometimes it's achieved through aesthetics through fasting or meditation or withdrawing from the external world and going in going deep and sometimes it achieved through really going deep into the ecstasy of life in the celebration of life into the singing and dancing and all of that the ecstatic principle really fits into the story of the hero into the hero's journey because our nature is to be joyous to be ecstatic to celebrate life it really fits with um, celebration with triumph with victory with even with ascending and it's one of the driving forces in human nature and one of the ways to connect to God, to the divine. So today we're going to celebrate with something most of you really enjoy and that is vinyasa, slow vinyasa. Are you ready to flow with strength and ease? So today's class is going to be a slow vinyasa, which many of you love, and we're going to include a few bar, ballet bar dance elements into it. All right, starting at the front of the mat, pull the belly in, roll the shoulders back and down, gaze into eternity, into abyss or into nothingness and everything. Just dissolve your gaze in front of you gazing softening the eyes inhale and feel the lightness of your body exhaling inhaling and grateful for this element air prana also lightening your body healing your body and exhaling and for today's class I will ask you to integrate Mula Bandha which is the root lock through the entire practice as you inhale pull Mula Bandha in as you exhale relax and that will allow you to sometimes if you keep it going through the entire class it will allow you to experience a little bit of an ecstatic spark as the power of breathing, the power of the bandhas. Sometimes a message can be downloaded. You can feel communication when you are doing the breathing and the locks. All right, I know we're all now experts at chair pose, so chair. Exhale down. Inhale, look ahead of you. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Extend the tailbone down and feel the openness of upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back and down and exhale down dog spreading the fingers wide open inhale the right leg up and point the toes flex your foot point and flex point and flex bend the knee and open it out to the side and again open and open and open and open 
you can lift the knee high, explore your own flexibility. Openness, fluidity. And let's square the hips, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Look up. Exhale down. Moving through your vinyasa, chaturanga, either cobra or up dog, roll the shoulders back and down. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. And let's point the toes and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. And bend the knee and open it out. And open the knee. And open the knee. And you can bring the foot up and over. Bring the left hip on top of the right. Finding here openness, no resistance, letting go of stiffness, yielding. Let's square the hips, step it through, high lunge. And you can look up and arch. And exhale down. Vinyasa. Chaturanga and up dog. Lengthening the back of the neck. And down dog. <sighs> Lifting the tailbone high. You can walk in place here. Let's see how the right leg up lifted high. Here you're gonna steady the hips, square them and just move your right leg over to the left without moving the hips. Steady them, keep them square and move just gently, flexing the foot. Feeling here the stretch of the IT band. Great, back to center, step it through, high lunge. Exhale the hands behind you, fingers interlacing, open the chest, look up. And exhale, lower the forehead down. Humble warrior. Inhale your chest halfway up. So hovering the chest over the right leg and spin the right shoulder up here in a twist. Excellent. Smile. Release the hands and take that left hand all the way a few inches in front of the right foot. Great, take the back leg up and take revolving half moon. Not a beginner pose, but give it your go, give it your best, give it a go. <laughs> Great, step back just so much so that we can take revolving triangle pose. You can reach over the head. 
Exhale down. Step it back. Vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Quieting the mind down and seeing the ecstatic in each and every movement, the ecstatic principle, the ecstatic principle of nature. Sometimes the most ecstatic thing we can do is sit by a tree and just breathe, observe the sunset that can totally connect us to God, to the divine. Inhale the left leg up. Feel the lift of the leg, the strength of your hands, shoulders away from the ears. Flex your left foot and bring, bring the leg just gently over to the right without overdoing it. Keep the hips square and it's not going to be a big move at all if you don't sway the hips. And back to center and step it through and come up high one. Exhale the hands behind you. Swapping the grip, interlacing the fingers open. Open the chest, soften here. Exhale, lower down, humble warrior. And coming halfway up, twist over to the left, lifting the left shoulder up. Release, look down and take the right hand somewhere in front of the left foot. Take the other leg up, parallel to the floor, left arm up. Reach, reach through the hand, press the heel away from you. If you can look over to your left, that will challenge your balance. That will snap you right in the moment. <laughs> Step it back for revolving triangle pose. Square the hips. Exhale down. And let's take a plank to Chaturanga to up dog. And down dog. Breathe. Keep coming back to your Molabanda. Inhale the right leg up. Let's bring the right knee to the nose. One, staying down dog. Two, three, four, five. And now step it through. Drop the back heel down and windmill your hands straight into warrior two. Look down, make sure that your right knee is directed forward where the toes are directed at, so it's not buckling in. Soften here, go a little deeper if you feel the room for that. And you can bring your arms and give me a little dancey move. as if you're exploring your space and the texture of your environment, just moving through it, moving, 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 moving. And now let's move forward and back and forward 
and back and forward and back and up and forward and back and up good warrior two relax the palms of your hands so they're not over arch and tensing relax them soften as if this is so easy to hold forever give me that type of feel Imagine that someone is going to snap a photo of you and you for that moment, you're just effortless. And let's turn the right hand up and reach up and over the head. Walk the left hand down the left leg. And back to warrior two. Straightening the lead knee, hinging at the hips. Find a lot of length along the right side of the torso, really lengthen. Here an adjustment that I sometimes give is you place, the teacher places their foot here and at the same time pose with your hands so we can find a lot of spinal length and then lower down. Extending the tailbone slightly down here so that the length is enhanced. Reach over the head. Beautiful, exhale down. Great, you can bend the right knee here. Lift your back heel straight up, hands on the inside of the right foot and stretch for a moment here. Stretching the hip flexor, but you're also stretching the right hip, left hip flexor, right inner thigh, even hamstring. Great. Step it back, plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to down dog. Mola Banda. Great. Inhale the left leg up. Shoulders are relaxed. Stay in down dog. And let's bring the knee to the nose. One. Pull the belly in. Two. Inhale back. Exhale. Three. Four. Five. And stay. Windmill the hands all the way into warrior two. And just give me a dancey move. Make sure that your knee is pointing directly forward and move through your space with fluidity, lightness with ease and grace, just moving, 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 moving. Bringing a feminine element into a masculine pose, right? <sighs> Great. Here we're going to move up and then forward and then move up and forward and then move up and forward. Great, hold it. And let's reverse the warrior, walking the right hand down the right leg. And coming out of it. Straightening the lead knee, hinging at the hips really bring your hips back open that right hip so if you're bringing the belly down towards the floor rotate that right hip externally press the tailbone slightly down so extending the tailbone down and then lengthening away from the hips great reaching up
triangle pose and let's reach over the head and lower down both hands on the inside of the left foot bring the back heel up and you can lower the knee down and feel that stretch here <sighs> exhale Good, and slip it back, plank to Chaturanga to Up Dog. Hold your Up Dog, feel it. Great, bring the knees on the floor and sit between your heels if you can. If you cannot, sit on the heels. And here you can lower down. Stretching the quadriceps. Extending the tailbone again so that we can go deeper in the quads. Beautiful, slowly coming up, elbows on the floor, hands on the ground, <sighs> sitting, walk your hands in front of you, all the way into all fours, and we're going to round the back, look towards the navel, inhale, look up, exhale, rounding, Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. And inhale, open. And back to neutral. Take the right leg up, left knee underneath the left hip. Open the right hip up. Bend the knee and straighten, bend the knee, straighten, bend the knee and straighten and now level the hips and extend the leg to the side out, one, two, three, four, find length, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, great, a few circles with the toes, really big, really big circles overlapping to the left side, very good, let's go straight to the left side, take the left leg up and now open, open the hip and bend and extend the leg three times, now level the hips, feel the difference, and we're going to lift, find length, lift to the left, lift, four, five, six, engaging the booty, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and now draw a few really big circles with the toes on the left side, until you find so much space and fluidity, beautiful, all right, drop it back down and wiggle your tailbone like a dog <laughs> and now look to the right, wiggle the tailbone to the right, look to the left, 
tailbone to the left. And if you're trying to look at your tail, very good. All right, tuck your toes under, down dog. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. can bring the hands onto the hips here you're going to push from the left foot forward so that we can stand on the right leg so you can bend the knee and push forward or you can just lift the heel and push forward and come up standing onto the right leg and this is the bar section so you can hold on to something I really love it when we start finding our inner balance so we don't have to hold on to things you can hold on to a wall or a bar or a chair but if you can find balance it is superior so here we're going to bend the right leg slightly and you can bring your ballerina hands and we'll go one extending and flexing the booty two and three and four and five and six, and seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Very good. And from here, we'll step straight back into warrior one. Ready? Step it back. Very good. Take a nice and glorious warrior one. Hands on the hips one more time, stepping at the front. And this time we're gonna Find tree pose. Hands over the heart. <sighs> Finding the ecstasy of the present moment. Let me know in the comments below. You can even pause the class after the tree pose and let me know immediately. Have you felt the ecstatic principle of life? I feel that this is what's been driving my entire life <sighs> finding it in periods <sighs> of my life finding it in the morning hour when you just wake up and <laughs> the day holds unlimited possibilities it's that expansive sens sensation or that feeling that mind-bending experience of the just present moment not not through drugs or mushrooms or you know ayahuasca or all those things but just that's something that is in our brain in our capacity to experience have you felt it Sometimes through singing it can be achieved, meditation, prayer, stillness, being in nature, dancing, in a ceremony. All right, from here we're gonna bring the knee into the rib cage. Take the right hand to the left knee and take the left hand back and look behind you if you can that will also change your balance very good back to center and we're gonna bend the right knee and step straight back into warrior one and you're becoming a professional <laughs> at vinyasa let's twist to the right bring the left hand onto the right knee right hand behind look back can you take that left hand up and over exhale the left hand on the inside 
of the right foot. Take the back heel straight up and take the right hand up. You can stay here for a little longer or you can take side plank. Join me in the side plank. The wrist should be exactly underneath the shoulder. Really important. Take, take some time, a video or a photo of yourself to make sure you're doing it correctly. And exhale down, vinyasa. Down dog. <sighs> Let's take the left leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior one. Open. Feel the warrior. You can move. Find the fluidity and the steadiness of the pose. Warriors are very young. And movement is very in. The masculine way to enlighten is through seated meditation. And the feminine is through movement. So if you don't like seated meditation, don't force yourself to find the vinyasa way of becoming empty. Okay, push through the back and come up to standing. And here we're going to do our bar moves 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and bend the knee and step it back, warrior one. Feel the warrior, lift, lengthen. <clears throat> Breathe, Mulabanda. Hands on the hips and step it to the front again. And find warrior, or sorry, Find tree pose. <sighs> Again, tapping into the body through the breath, tapping into the present moment contemplating that principle that is encoded in us, that ecstatic principle. And it doesn't have to come from looking happy. Sometimes it's in the quietest of moments that you find the most ecstatic of experiences. Great, and coming out of it, you can bring your knee into the rib cage. Left hand to right knee and begin to bring the right hand back. Look back, if you can. Release and step it back, warrior one. Open, twist, and bring the right hand onto the knee. Left hand back, lift. Soften in the twist. Reach up. And feel where you can let go of tension here in this twist. Is it in the hip flexor? Is it in the core? Exhale and soften there. And feel how your body will flow into that fluidity. Exhale the right hand down. Bring the back heel up. 
twist. And either stay here in this twist, you can reach forward and really deepen the twist. If you're good with side planks, then take a side plank here. Stacking the joints on top of each other so that you will strengthen your body, your joints. Exhale down, plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to down dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. Hands over the heart. Warrior three. Stepping onto the right leg. Level the hips. Press the back heel up. Bend the right knee. Come up to standing. And let's bring the left ankle right over the right knee. Sit back. This is a hip opener. I'll give you a really advanced pose here, so don't do it if you can't, but try it. Either way, we're going to bring the hands in prayer, twist to the right, and bring the elbow into the foot. See how this works. You can even take it left hand to the floor, right arm up. A nice deep twist, balancing. Back to prayer. Then come out of it. Come up to standing. You can bring your hands on the hips. And we're gonna draw a circle here. One, with the left toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And step it back, warrior one. Here we're going to bring the left hand on the floor, roll onto the outer edges of both feet, flex your feet and sit back into the hip. So this is a hip opener, we're opening, stretching that right hip, flexing the feet and pressing the hip back to experience this hip opener. Very good. Let's deepen it by bringing the calf down, lifting the rib cage up, pigeon. Open the chest. I have a little doggy staring at me. Great, and plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to down dog. Let's take the left leg up, step it through. Warrior one. Open the chest here, really experience the openness. Softening, softening the hip flexor. And you can bring your hands to the hips. Or over the heart. And shift into warrior three. Once you're here, level the hips. Press the back heel away from you. Holding warrior three. Lifting the heel. And 
and you can bend the left knee and come up to standing let's bring the right ankle over the left knee hands in prayer feel free to keep it at this just stay here this is a hip opener it should feel very yummy delicious in the body and the next level would be elbow into the foot twisting you can extend one hand down and one up slowly reversing into a hip opener come up to standing and we're gonna draw a few circles with the toes here bar style ballet style five six balance seven eight nine and ten and let's step it back warrior one <sighs> and exhale the right hand on the inside of your left foot flex your feet and roll onto the outer edges of both feet sitting into that left hip it's a hip opener here open the left arm up and really feel that stretch all through the hip here soften into that stretch great and let's lower the calf down for a pigeon, open the chest, lift here. Great, from here, we are going to bring the back leg back and around, soles of the feet together. Hey Sophie, sometimes animals can help us experience the ecstatic principle in life because they, they're more present than we are. They're more egoless than we are. They're more connected than we are. Right Sophie? <laughs> Soles so of the feet together, Bada Konasana and keep the soles of the feet together just lay down or spin around and lay down <sighs> right hand onto the belly left hand onto the heart Bring your hands underneath your thighs and lift the knees. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug and sink into the moment. Hmm. As your body is sinking through the mat, becoming heavy, allow your consciousness to sink into the moment. Exhale the left leg down, right knee across, look back towards the right in a supine twist. And let's change sides. Exhale and soften here, soften the belly, soften the spine, soften the muscles around the spine.
in coming back out of this feet parallel to each other bridge lifting the hips as high as you can working the chest towards the chin and you can shimmy the shoulders under one vertebrae at a time release down extend your legs and you can point the toes here you bring your hands underneath your upper upper leg and elbows down on the ground bringing the top of the head towards the floor you don't have to rest your head down opening the chest exhale lower down and lay for a few moments here in shavasana completely allowing your body to relax letting go of the way in which you typically hold yourself with each exhalation allowing the body to sink deeper into the moment to let go of tension allowing yourself to become heavy present empty of what you should do and empty of what you should be what you should become but just present observing the perfection in everything how perfect everything that has happened and is happening is and the way your life is lining up finding perfection in all its imperfection inhaling and exhaling through the third eye and keeping your eyes closed shifting your gaze towards the third eye so looking towards the third eye the space between the eyebrows and now turning the gaze towards the heart and when you're ready begin to wiggle the fingers and toes moving the tongue around the mouth inhale your hands over the head stretch and point your toes and bring yourself into the present moment into this room into your house the building the street the house is on the neighborhood the city big breath in and let's roll onto our side embryo in the womb pose and press yourself up to sit it roll the shoulders back and down inhale your hands over the head over the third eye over the lips and over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love namaste thank you all for joining me today for this class let me know the times when you have experienced most ecstasy in your life share those experiences down in the comments below so that we can see how all of us experience ecstasy in life and in what moments in life and i'll see you tomorrow with our next class we're coming to the end of this series so it's getting to that ending phase that beautiful ending of the hero's journey Who's that? Who's that? Are you happy, Sophie?
Are you ecstatic? Okay. Are you ecstatic? <laughs>